Hi all, this is another bonus game from TCEC before it's actually officially started, number 13 edition. Uh, so this is against Anne Skax. So I think it's on a monster uh, setup with like 43 cores or something. So E3, uh, Van Cruiser's opening, which I've used myself, Reverse French Defense by Leela. So Knight F6, D4, G6, C4, Bishop G7, Knight F3, Black Castles, Bishop E2, B6. Knight c3, bishop b7, white castles, e6, b4 gaining a bit of space on the queen side, d5, queen, it's not d5, d6, queen b3, that'd be d7, bishop b2. So white out of the opening uh, has got a reasonable looking position and prospects for queen side space gain. Knight e4, so the first trade of pieces, a3, a5. Knight d2 hitting the bishop, bishop drops back, bishop c3. Now Anne Skax uh, commits to a4, quite a committal move, pawns then go backwards. Is this going to be uh, a problem for black later? Uh, now we see uh, f5, rook a c1, knight f6, and now b5, so gaining a bit of space. And there's a potential prospect of maybe later round, trying to right, round up this pawn. It seems disconnected a bit from the rest of the fellow pawns from the network of pawns and in fact now Leela plays in this position c5 which gives up the d5 square but it has very ambitious uh, plans to it okay so bishop d5 uh, we see bishop b4 bishop f8 h3 queen b8 rook f e1 b takes d takes rook d8 c6 so these pawns are getting pretty advanced uh rook e8 rook ed1 rook e7 bishop c3 rook f7 rook b1 as though there's a possibility maybe later of rook b4 to hit a4 knight e4 that's taken bishop takes bishop d3 bishop d5 now here it looks as though there's a spanner in the works here. Rook before there's bishop b3, isn't there? Or is there? Guess what Leela plays in this position. And remember, Leela understands distant past pawns, uh, it seems, as a concept. So what would you play? What do you think Leela plays in this position? Okay. Rook b4. Forget about bishop b3. <laughs> That can be snapped off. Yeah, position exchange sack. Look at White's pawns. Just visually, it looks crushing. Which is another thing people have started to say about Leela Games, by the way, about how it's getting positions that are visually crushing. Uh, so that's something to think about in our own games, perhaps. How we assess positions ourselves. Is it visually crushing? There might be some element of, of reality to that. Uh, but here, yeah, we can see it looks as though this could be visually crushing as these pawns avalanche on the queen side queen b6 g3 rook b8 rook b1 rook a8 so at the moment uh, it seems as though black might be prepared to counter sack the exchange leader doesn't seem to want to play a5 in any case rook a1 queen c5 bishop e2 bishop g7 Bishop b4, queen a7, rook a2, the rook is eyed there on the diagonal, h5. And one more step for this, these pawns, these guys, queen b8, h4, fixing down black's activities on the king side, king h8, king g2, king h7, rook c2, queen a7, rook c1, rook c8, bishop d2. Yes, you might be wondering, this isn't the most action-packed game you've ever seen. <laughs> some things some things are worth the wait, like long French films. Sometimes they're really great. Okay, so rook b8, rook b1, queen a8, queen c2, queen a7. <laughs> Pardon the French joke, they, they are in the World Cup final credit to them. Yeah, so queen b3. Queen a8, bishop e1, bishop f8, rook c1, queen a7, 
Bishop c3, Bishop g7. <laughs> okay, Bishop b4. Uh, it was actually possible to take on g7, it seems, uh, technically, as though that would have been nice as well. Okay, so anyway, this game carries on like this. Bishop e5 here, Queen a3, Bishop g7. All right, and here we do actually now get simplification via this little pinning tactic. So bishop takes a7, yes. All right, let's have a look at this position. Uh, let's take stock here. So without the queens on, the e5 pawn is the only one that can be moved. The others are like... Uh, Drafts that says up like drafts. So if this can be fixed as well, that'd be nice. Bishop d4 does imply a fix on that pawn, and here, as though e5, the pawn is fixed. So these pawns are left like drafts, and White's got the pawn break. That's typical of Leela, isn't it? Depriving her brute force opponents of any meaningful pawn breaks first, and then usually building up the pressure for her own pawn break. So how can the pressure be built up? For a queenside pawn break here, I wonder is it to do with bringing up the king? Uh, so here we have rook a6 now, as though b6 is on the cards. Uh, we have bishop c2 and the king e2. The black king is cut off this sector because of that pawn, can't really uh, help that sector. But the white king can go quite near, and here we see the white king wondering, leader's king wandering over here. Uh, so rook a5, bishop a4, some shuffling again. Uh, yeah, I'm probably the only channel covering this game ever because it's such a long game. Okay, uh, that's the beauty of covering such gigantic games, I guess. No, it's, it's a nice break coming. It's a nice strategic break coming. So let's focus on that major event which is about to happen here on the queen side. Okay, so the king's over there on a4 now. And now finally, here, finally, Leela decides this is the time to play b6. There we have it, the pawn break. Fretting the enormous b7, so that has to be taken. Takes bishop d6. King b5, the king is ready to kind of infiltrate, potentially. Bishop a4, this past pawn, the past pawns look absolutely massive. So here, some more shuffling until, let's see. Yep, optimizing the position a bit. And we have rook a5 again. Reaching move 103 now. King f7, bishop e2, king e8, bishop d1, king f8, rook a4, king f7. Bishop c2, king e8, bishop d3. Okay, here we have something exciting happen. Black actually gets a bit desperate here. Uh, maybe to make the game more interesting or something. Uh, and plays e5. Uh, for whatever reason. Okay, so bishop c2 is played. And now d4, so things have really sparked up. e takes d4. E takes f4, g takes f4. The thing is, this, this seems to have hurt black more than white. There seems to be two connected pass pawns in the center now. Uh, and it does seem to be totally diabolical now for black. If bishop takes f4, then bishop c5 and these two pass pawns are going to mean something pretty soon. Or even this pawn over here. Uh, so this is an example variation. Well, that's winning. So basically, uh, bishop takes f4 doesn't seem to do much. So we have rook e3, king a6, threatening king b7, rook e7, d5. Yeah, it seems to have hurt black more. And in fact, this rook is now protecting f4 as well. So more build up. c7 is now on the cards, potentially. In fact, here c7 is played. And that wins material. And the game was adjudicated here. Okay, it's starting to look like one of those endless 100 move games which everyone ignores from the TSEC archives. All those millions of computer generated games lasting hundreds of moves. Yeah, but it was Leela playing white. Um, she did seem to take things very, very slowly in this game in a casual manner. 
so maybe that's okay time limit or something but in in this final position uh white is definitely like a piece up here for example check as an example we don't really need to show too much here it's absolutely uh crushing it's just going to be crushing white's well, it's just going to cra crash through with the extra piece no doubt okay borrowing electricity failure okay so um that was the uh, extra long game of the TSEC bonus games involving Leela Chess, a decisive game with Anne Skax. But, but, she did lose uh, a few. She did lose, I think, the overall match. Uh, I think she lost the overall match. But she held a lot of draws. But, uh, you know, Anne Skax, if it really is on, um, on like, 42 processes or something, it's still an impress impressive achievement for two graphics cards. Uh, you could just beef up the graphics cards maybe to four it's quite possible for example and um and leela's evolving all the time that's the real thing the really amazing thing leela's evolving all the time so uh very exciting game here in some respects a very exciting game <laughs> showing again a positional exchange sacrifice for a long-term uh pawn breakthrough so pretty instructive stuff i think comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much